So you've likely seen more of a certain mammal around this time of year. And yeah, we're talking about bats and not so coincidentally, it is actually Bat Appreciation Month. Where's so the pun? Hang in there with pun. us. Yep. We're gonna wing it. In the last hour, we busted some common myths about them. They're actually one of the best types of pest control. But what if you don't want to get them around? Well, I was outside with the Reese bats. from Recovery Rescues and her amazing daughter, Sage, who's awesome. In the, the back way. costume, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, she's so cool. So they explained what you should find, what you should do if you find a bat at home. If you find a bat on the ground, you want to call a licensed rehabilitator. Don't touch it with your bare hands. You can use a tea towel or um, a small wad of, wad of paper towels to pick them up, put them in a box, um, call a rehabilitator. Oftentimes, all you have to do is put them in a tree. The rehabilitator will direct you as to what to do with them, whether or not they're dehydrated and need medical assistance or whether or not they just need to be placed in a tree. Um, if you find a bat flying in your house, if somebody has been definitively bitten, you must call the health department. There is no way around it. Less than 1% of all bats have rabies, but we can't take chances when there are bites. Um, if you find a bat flying around inside of your house, stay to the perimeter of the walls. They're gonna swoop down towards the middle, so they might actually come into contact with you if you're standing in the middle of the room trying to um, catch them. Let them come to a place of landing and pick them up with a tea towel, just like we mentioned before, um, place them in a box. And as long as nobody was bitten, call a rehabilitator, they'll direct you what to do. Um, if you want bats in your yard to help with pest control, you're gonna wanna place a bat house like this at least 10 inches by 24 inches in width and height, at least 10 feet up in a tree, a pole. Um, you wanna put it in direct sunlight and not under a bunch of tree coverage because if it's under coverage, they're not gonna come. It's gonna be too cold. Um, and there's what's called chambers inside of bat houses. So the bats that are gonna live inside of the chambers are crevice bats. And they like to all pile in there together so we could have several hundred bats living in a box this size. Um, the different chambers will give them various places to grip. Um, if you go on batworld.com, there are directives for building your own bat houses so that you can build something. We also have links to um, bat house builders who build specifically for Florida bats. That was a really cool interview. So cool. So you can see bats like these and other rescues for yourself at the Fi Night Market in Jack's Beach this weekend. It's from 6 to 9 Saturday night at Fi Eco Salon. The market will also benefit Recovery Rescue Mission.